There was a time I marked days on a calendar. I gave up after a few years, but judging by your bizarre attire, you've been in here for over a century. Yeah, I would have come by sooner, but I thought you were safe and sound in the family crypt. My bad. Well, technically, I did die in 1858, after a nurse in the TB ward fed me vampire blood. And you never thought to stop by and clear things up? How did you end up here? Mrs. Salvatore? Mrs. Salvatore. I don't know what to call her. Please, call me Lily. It was October 31st, 1903. I had just arrived at New York Harbor. The night sky was alive with this beautiful, shimmering light. And out of nowhere, a coven of witches attacked. And when I woke, they were gone. Everyone was gone. <laughs> that night, the sky danced with colors again, and it's done so every night since. It's called prison. It must have pissed off a lot of people. That life seems like forever ago. You on a diet? I depleted every slaughterhouse within walking distance and every butcher shop along the hellish trek from New York to Mystic Falls. This is the last of the blood here. <laughs> Two drops a week just to stay awake. That sounds miserable. I manage. I heard you and your brother turn during the war. Mm-hmm. Your father must have been horrified. He was. And then Stefan ripped his throat out. Mm. <laughs> Apologize, that's cruel to laugh, but good for Stefan. I truly hated that man. Oh, I know you did. So much so that you left your kids with him, faked your own death, and went out to join the Ripper Coalition. Well. It's nice to see that you've grown into yourself, Damon. How's your brother? <laughs>